Welcome back to Base Camp, Western North Carolina. This is part two. This is how to do some machining and building on this deep well hand pump. The first thing is this is the rod that comes out the top of the well to drive the, either the handle or the motor, which will be in a future video. You need to thread this. This is one half inch, 20 threads to the inch. We got a regular die for it. You can get it in Napa Auto Parts, Ace Hardware, anybody. Thread the end, about a half inch. That is basically about the same thread pattern that is on the rods you'll be using. What I've done since the other video is the plunger symbol will look like this now. We got rid of the filler piece and the glue and the fitting and sticking all this in here. This right here is a brass fitting. It is half inch female pipe thread, quarter inch female pipe thread, and a half inch 20 die again and you can re-thread the holes it'll recut all the threads and the rod will stick right into it makes a lot neater looking job a lot stronger this is your standard piece of pvc pipe it's just called close nipples they got a merit hardware store and lows everybody three or four inches all you need um about six larger holes five sixteenths three eighths six eight holes quarter inch five sixteenths in it you don't want to do so much you lose the strength or integrity of it and all you have to have is the water that comes up through the check valve has to be able to get out so six holes is probably more than enough uh, to do the job so what we're going to do now is move this camera around and we're going to show how to set the table saw up how to make the jig to how to cut these two cuts in here for where the u-cup seals will go welcome base camp Northwestern North Carolina. This is part three. Uh, we're setting up the table saw. As you can see, this is a very simple just a piece of plywood. We've taken a three sticks of wood right here, and all this does is it just holds the check valve in place. We're going to be cutting these notches in this check valve. You want them just far enough apart. It's a little bit of play, not really tight. This board is centered right over top of the center of the blade in the center of the saw. Now when you're cutting, when you're doing your notches on your check valve, you need to remove the inner part of the check valve. That little piece right there sticks out just enough to be in the way. Now what we've done in order to keep from cutting your fingers, you take a three-quarter male adapter and a piece of half-inch PVC pipe. In this way, this can be held down here and you can roll it without your fingers being in the way. To set this thing up, it is the thickness of the blade and this piece of wood is what equals the thickness of your U-cup seal. We preset pair of calipers from turning wood to the inside diameter of the U-cup seal on the hard part. Now I have messed up. I've shot this thing a couple times and I've run out of U uh, check valves. But this thing is convenient because in order to practice a piece of standard one inch PVC pipe is the exact same diameter of the check valve. So what you can do is you can set your saw up and use this. Now I've taken black magic marker to cover up the end so you'll be able to see it. Now let's see if I can do this without blasting your ears out too bad. And hopefully I'll be able to remove this sound. If not, turn the computer down. Keep raising the blade until you get it to where the calipers will just go over it. That's the correct diameter. 
on the second cut all you'll do is stick in that little wood shim and go again have it you have one notch the correct width and the right diameter to put this seal over top so what you would be doing is you would do this on your check valve cut make one cut then stick your wood shim in make your second cut and then it's very easy because you just unscrew it both ends are the same thread screw it on this end and do the same thing make a cut then put your wood shim in make the second cut then both of them are wide enough to take the u-cup seal on both of them and put them in now when assembling your pump the direction flow of the check valve will be this way this would be going up the pump and your u-cup seal will face up the next little video we'll have on assembling the cylinder, putting it in the pump, and a couple options as far as being able to hook it to the well seat. That's it for now.